We ask you, what happened to the Architect and the Oracle? With the arrival of the Analyst, everything seems to have changed. Is there a chance that the Oracle and the Architect still live? Let's see if Matrix Resurrections leaves us any clues to the fate of the Oracle and the Architect. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The Oracle was mentioned several times during the film. The first was during the conversation between Neo and Bugs after Neo is disconnected from the Matrix. Here Neo reveals that the Matrix has trivialized his life. It took his hopes and dreams and turned him into a simple game. Bugs said, We're better to bury truth than incite something as ordinary as a video game. Neo replies that her words sounded like the Oracle's. The Oracle was one of the most important characters in the previous trilogy, so it's understandable that Neo would make that comparison. He was awakened to the real world and feels lost, and when he felt lost, he would visit the fortune teller. But Bugs reveals something unexpected. The Oracle was gone before Bugs was freed. When the new version of the Matrix was uploaded, a purge occurred. A massive deletion of programs, including the Oracle. Neo was upset that the machines promised peace, but in return, they gave them purge. During this part of the movie, we thought that the architect broke his promise, but Niobe later explained what happened. She told Neo that all of the trouble started in the machine cities. Power plants were unable to produce enough energy. Nothing can breed violence like scarcity. For the first time, we saw machines at war with one another. We got word from the Oracle of a new power rising. That was the last we heard from her. There was a coup between the machines. Other machines like the Analyst did not agree with the truce, as it was negatively affecting their energy production. Thus a machine civil war happened. The purge happened at the moment when a new faction, the Analyst's faction, came into power. This leads us to believe that the Analyst is the enemy of the Architect, that a power struggle happened between them, and the Analyst won. The Analyst then eliminates the Architect and the Oracle, in addition to invalidating the truce with the humans. Interestingly, Niobe also says that rumors of a new power rising spread around Zion, but that Morpheus did not believe the rumors. She told Neo, he was certain that what you had done could not be undone. All of these people never stopped believing in miracles, believing in you. This is quite shocking because it means that Morpheus ignored the Oracle's warnings, but we will talk about this in a separate video. We believe that this new power was the Anomalium, where Neo and Trinity were kept alive and hidden. The analyst talked about his predecessor, the architect, but he didn't exactly say what happened to him. He only mentions that he is under the authority of the suits, possibly high-ranking machines. Sati also reveals the sad story that the analyst purged her parents, and that is why she devised a plan to rescue Neo and Trinity. Sati seems to have changed sides at some point, as Niobe calls her out in contempt, because Sati hid the fact that Neo and Trinity were alive. Sati explains that she was rescued by Kochaku, a machine friend of hers. When Ramakandra, Sati's father, betrayed the analyst, the war had passed and the purge already occurred. She was rescued by a machine from the real world. This means that neither Seraph nor the Oracle was there to protect her. Could it be then that the Oracle was eliminated? While well, several things could indicate that she is still alive, the first is the return of the Merovingian. The Frenchman uses a low-frequency portal to access the new Matrix. This indicates that there are programs that did escape the purge. And well, the Oracle has cheated death once before when the Merovingian tried to destroy her. She could have escaped, as he did. Remember that she prophesied that Sati would be important for the future. I can't tell you why, but I believe that one day, the child will change both our world and your world forever. The Oracle could see far beyond the truce. She also mentioned that Neo was coming back. Will we ever see him again? I suspect so. Someday. It's very important to not forget something that we already mentioned in a past video. Ramakandra was the one who sold the Oracle's termination code to the Merovingian in exchange for transporting Sati to the Matrix. The Oracle knew what was happening and allowed it because she wanted Sati within the simulation. She allowed her friend, Ramakandra, to sell this code to the Merovingian. And later, Rama left Sati in the Oracle's care. 
Rama was also responsible for creating the Anomalium. He created the technology that helped revive Neo and Trinity. So did the Oracle use Rama again for her plans? Was the betrayal of Sati's father that he worked for the Oracle? The Oracle was again referred to when Tiffany asks Thomas if he was talking about the Oracle from his game, to which Thomas replies that it is not a game, that it actually happened. This means that the Oracle was also programmed into Neo's game, and so there is a new Oracle that could come out of this game, just like the new Morpheus did. Someone could just access the model and get her out. Sure, she wouldn't be the real Oracle, but perhaps she has the skills and wisdom of the original fortune teller. And the last time the Oracle is mentioned in the movie is when Trinity tells Neo that she dreamt about everything that happened at the end of the movie and everything was coming true. Neo replied that if he was the Oracle, he could explain it. What does he mean? What happens here is that Trinity is having visions of the future, just as Neo had them in Matrix Reloaded. Remember that Neo saw Trinity die in his dreams, and that's why he desperately needed to see the Oracle. You have the sight now, Neo. You are looking at the world without time. Now Trinity also has the sight. She can see parts of the future because both she and Neo carry the Anomaly's code. The Matrix Resurrections left the door open for a continuation of Neo and Trinity's story. Perhaps much of what the analyst said is not true, as his explanation of why he was not eliminated was somewhat ambiguous. A good basis for a fifth Matrix film would be with the Oracle returning and revealing to Neo what happened during the Machine's Civil War, how she escaped, and what her plans are. Even the possibility of the Architect teaming up with the humans to fight the Analyst would be an intriguing angle. So if the Merovingian was able to escape the Purge, why not the father and mother of the Matrix? But do you agree? Where is the Oracle? Is she alive or not? Tired of your cookies not coming out as you want them to? That they don't taste like how your mother used to make them in her kitchen when you were a kid? Well, we have the solution for you! Introducing Oracle's Cookies, made only with the best ingredients and benevolent intentions. Oracle's Cookies will make you feel like you're the only one who can save the world. So don't delay. Pick up the phone and order now. There is absolutely positively nothing suspicious about Oracle's Cookies. If you can't trust this face, who can you trust? Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.